Composite materials are made from two or more materials. And these two materials, when put together, create a stronger, more durable, more lightweight material, more flexible material, more so than the two component materials on their own. So composite materials are predominantly carbon fiber or glass fiber based composites. This is great for applications, say for aerospace, for use in planes, for use in boats, or even wind turbine blades where flexibility and strength is really important as well as light weighting. However, these materials are tightly bound together. Both the glass and carbon fiber in their matrix and the polymers that glue them together. And they're a real challenge to prize them apart when it comes to recycling. The big problem of composites of carbon fibers, it's the fact that they're manufactured from oil and the amount of energy that goes into manufacturing of carbon fibers is intense and is very polluting to the environment. So it's thought that by 2050, there might be 43 million tons of wind turbine blade waste in the world, of which 70% of that is glass fibers, 30% of that is polymers. This is a problem because at the moment, the only solution we have for wind turbine blades is landfill or burning the wind turbine blade to use some of the fibers in cement manufacture, which is rare currently. So at CPI, we're trying to develop ways of identifying the recycling of glass fibers and carbon fibers for reuse in circular economies. And that will overcome the cost to the environment from the release of CO2, from the use of fossil energy in the manufacture of both glass and carbon fibre composites. In order for industries like Aero, who use carbon fibre in the manufacture of the holes of aeroplanes, for the industries of electronics that use glass fibres in the manufacture of printed circuit boards, or the wind industry who uses glass fibres and carbon fibre composites in the manufacture of wind turbines and the wind turbine blades it is very important that we find a solution to recycling of these composite materials to recover the fibers for reuse in other applications and potentially recovery of these polymers if they've come from fossil derived sources. One way to potentially recover these fibers are technologies like burning. So if you were to burn off the polymer, you can recover the fibers and 70% of a wind turbine blade is these glass fibers. So you can recover those glass fibers, you can melt them down, you can use them in other applications such as making panel glass and the problem every time you go to recycle these materials that if you're adding heat and pressure the fibers themselves degrade in quality so they can't necessarily go back to the original application so is there a way for us to upgrade these materials so they can go back into the original applications or if not they go into different applications where the fibers will prove to be beneficial so at CPI, we're looking now to develop recycling processes that extracts the individual fibers and separates them from the polymers. And doing so, so we don't degrade the polymers sufficiently so the polymers can then be used in other applications. But not only that, we're going beyond the recycling into thinking about future designs of composites. Now, can we replace the fossil polymers with bio-based polymers? So if you were to burn off the polymer, you're releasing CO2 into the atmosphere that was part of the carbon cycle and wouldn't cause climate change but in the same way can we create a debondable structure within these composites so it's far easier using temperature or chemical processes to break apart the polymers from the fibers so you cleanly separate them so people should come to CPI for, to develop their recycling processes for composite materials whether it's large enterprises or small businesses come to us to help the innovate because we have the capability and assets both in characterization of materials looking at their strength their strain but also we've got the the right people here we've got polymer chemists we got material scientists. We understand the modeling, the, the data science that needs to go behind the whole designing of new materials. So these are solutions we can all begin to look at and work with us at CPI because we'll help you get there.